Hello everybody, this is Paul from Hard Day's Night and we're bringing music back to the people through random acts of music.
If you're a singer-songwriter or just curious about how musicians write music, create a label, use social media, and play live to sell their music, then watch us at randomactsofmusic.net. See artist performances and guitar chat and more. Listen to new music and covers by unsigned artists. We're bringing music back to the people. 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 We are bringing music back to the people with Random Acts of Music. Welcome to Random Acts of Music. I'm Henry J. And I'm online with Frank Murator. He's with Hard Day's Night and he plays uh, Paul McCartney. And there's, where, where are all the places that you travel? You've been everywhere. Yeah, we have. We've been... Uh across the country quite a bit, but it seems to concentrate in certain areas. We've been to the California. We've been to Texas wow. many times. Um, oh, Missouri, you know, uh, but we really predominantly around the Indiana, Indiana, West Virginia, uh, Kentucky, gotcha. Ohio, Pennsylvania. Are we on oh, still? Yeah. Pennsylvania's punishment. That's when you don't do a good gig. They send you to Pennsylvania. You know, were you one of the founders of Hard Day's Night? Yes. Uh, and how did you do that? How did you pull this together? Well, Glenn Burney, the original drummer in the band, started looking for people in 1996 or seven. You remember the Beatles anthology? Yes. On ABC. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what guy gave him the idea to start a Beatles tribute band, and I thought, eh. You know, I'd like to do it, but I told him that I didn't think it would be a market for it. You know, I was, was I thinking? <laughs> and since then, there's been millions of Beatles bands. So we started probably in 97. We kept going through different people. Um, we were fortunate to pick up Tom Work, who used to be with 1964, the tribute. I'm sure you guys have heard of that. Yeah, for sure. And for, oh, I don't know, eight years or so, he played with us. And then he went back to 64. Mm -hmm. And then we were really fortunate to find John Ocker out of Columbus. Uh, and he, he was, you know, a younger guy. He, he really was never in a Beatles tribute band, but uh, he really, really took to the job well. And as we've done over the years, we've done certain albums and all that. And he's learned how to play the sitar even. The guys in the band we have now, uh, Pat Gannon does Ringo. Uh, my son, Michael, is doing John Lennon. He's been doing that for about, oh, since 2007. Who's your favorite Beatle? Well, Paul is my favorite Beatle. <laughs> but I like John Lennon almost equally. Yeah. And well, I was George, hoping you would say, yeah. And George and, right and, behind. So how did you pull together? You know, I, I'm going to air the uh, the rooftop video 
that you guys did of the Beatles. And how'd you come up with that and where'd you film it? Okay. We've done it several times. Uh, we first were asked to do it uh, uh, by Abbey Road on the River, which is in Kentucky, uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Um, right around the COVID time, I think, uh, they wanted to do an abbreviated uh, Abbey Road on the River because they're having trouble with the COVID. You know, everybody was not doing anything. So we went to the lengths of getting the costumes. We rehearsed it and we went down and did it at uh, Abbey Road and the River. The film you have was done later the next summer, very same year, in Toledo, Ohio. Ah. At, that's at the Mud Hens, uh, Toledo. Oh, there's a there's a restaurant bar right next to their stadium, and so they had they built their own. They call it Hensville. They had their own <laughs> stage, yeah. Hensville, and they have a big stage in this area. But we put up, they put us on the roof, looking over the stadium, and we did it there in the afternoon. And then we played that night on the main stage. Did our regular show. Now, you went to great lengths to do uh, Paul McCartney, and you even learned to play. You're right-handed, right? Correct. That's so right. So you learned to play left-handed. How was that? Well, it wasn't as bad as you think because uh, if you play a little p I play a little piano. I'm not mm -hmm. the best, but I play, and I play in the band. I play piano. But the, f the hardest part, Henry, was the dexterity on your, let's see, my left hand. As I'm playing the bass, the fingering, you know, I had the fingering and I knew the, the positions on the neck fairly well right-handed. So I just had to invert that to this hand. Wow. I, nah, that's impressive. I'd have a hard time doing that. But it wasn't bad. But the hardest part is this. This, uh, my, my actual left hand, because I'm holding the bass over here, the dexterity of up and down picking was very difficult at first. It took a little, this was hard. It was really like starting over. But I know in about a year or so, I got pretty good at it. Now it's been, I think it's been nine years now. Wait a minute. Nine years. Since That's I amazing. Did. That's amazing. You did it. Hey, we're going to Liverpool in August. We've been invited back to the International Beatles Festival. Every August they have this in Liverpool. And I've been there before. Uh, Hard Day's mm -hmm. Night's been there. Oh, it's been 20 years almost. But I'm the only one. And my son went with me. He wasn't in the band at the time, but he went with me. And uh, all the other guys have always, this is their bucket list. They've always wanted to go to Liverpool. They wanted to do this thing. Oh. Well, guess what? They invited us and then COVID came and they couldn't, uh, couldn't use us until the next year, but we already had some gigs planned, so we couldn't go. So oh. now this year we're actually going. And we sent, matter of fact, this video you're going to show on the rooftop, we sent that to Liverpool and they played it during the COVID year on their big screen. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so we were kind of there and not there, you know. One, two, three, four, one.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the runway where fashion meets music and style meets substance. Today, we're showcasing a piece that's not just a trend, but a statement. It's the Random Acts of Music t-shirt, and it's shaking up the fashion scene. Imagine yourself walking down the street with a rhythm in your step and a melody in your heart. This t-shirt captures that energy with its bold design and vibrant colors. It's a call to action, reminding us to spread joy and positivity through the power of music. This t-shirt is not just a piece of clothing. It's a declaration of love for music and its ability to bring people together. It's a symbol of unity, a celebration of diversity, and a tribute to the transformative power of sound. So put on your random acts of music t-shirt, hit the streets, and make some noise. Because the world needs more music. And we're starting the revolution right here, right now. Thank you, and enjoy the show. You may remember on the rooftop, it ended up by doing this song twice. And I think they released this as the first 45, maybe, off that album. I'm not sure. And, uh... I don't know if you all know that uh, this album was released in 1970, but really recorded in 69.
behalf of myself and the group, I hope we pass the audition. Thank you. Well, who was the first bass player in the Beatles? <laughs>